Saturday, April the uh, 10th, 2021, and the Gardena Police Department is having a uh, etch uh, number in your catalytic converter in case it gets stolen, because we've had massive catalytic converters uh, stolen uh, in LA and Gardena, all over the all over Southern California, if not the rest of the country. And so they're etching a serial code in the catalytic converter in case uh, they happen to, it gets stolen and they happen to recover it. Um, so I'm at the Gardena Police Department and uh, they're going to etch my uh, catalytic converter, which I guess is pretty cool. Not sure how long it takes, uh, but I do see that they're busy away. There's not a lot of people in line because uh, you had to register and they gave you a certain a lot of time to be here. Mine was 12 noon till one o'clock. And uh, so it's over at the Gardena Police Department in a uh, parking lot. And I can see that we have a Captain Osorio there today and it looks like Chief of Police Afella is there. So uh, maybe we can get an interview with him. Let's find out. Hey, we've got Captain Osorio here. Captain, I'm over getting my- uh, Hi everybody. We're getting uh, my truck, uh, the catalytic converter yep. etched in. Mm -hmm. Could you give us a little more information on why we're doing this and what the process is? So with uh, the proliferation of catalytic converter thefts, uh, apparently in each catalytic converter, there are three main um, elements that are in there. Uh, some of them are a few hundred dollars uh, per ounce, and one of them is almost a few thousand dollars per ounce. So they're, um, which increases the uh, temptation to go out and steal these things. Uh, they're very easy to steal, and they're very easy to, uh, to sell. So what we're doing today is we're etching uh, our department's ID number along with the uh, particular plate of each vehicle onto their catalytic converter. All that information will go into a report which we will hold on to and if for some reason that uh, one of the catalytic converters from today gets stolen we will hopefully be able to identify it and uh, get it back to its uh, proper owner and get prosecution on whoever stole it. What kind of tools are they using do you know? It's, it's very easy it's, it's a sawzall and it's uh, one one cut on one side of the pipe and another cut on the other side of the uh, converter and the whole thing drops right down. Okay, very good. Let's see what happens to my truck. All right. Beautiful. So you finished with my car? Yes, I did. How, how well did it go? The car is not gonna fall apart, right? It is not gonna fall apart. Everything is all good. Uh, we're just doing some preventative uh, theft maintenance. What uh, kind of tool are you using? We're using an engraving tool. Uh, we're putting some numbers and the license plate on these uh, Kata converters uh, to be able to track down these thieves. So we're trying to do a good doing and help out the Gardena Police Department and as much as we can, you know. Uh, approximately how help. long does it take to do each car? Uh, approximately it takes about 10 minutes per car. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's a little hot under that car. You don't get burned, do you? It's a little hot, but we make do. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Gardena. This is Mike Safel, your chief of police. It's April 10th, Saturday. Uh, we're out here on this beautiful sunny day doing our etching uh, day. And what we're trying to do is have uh, people come up and uh, have their catalytic converters etched. We've partnered with uh, LAX Auto Repair, as you can see behind me, to do the etching. Uh, it's been a great day. We've got to see a lot of people come through. We've got to say hello to all our Gardena friends. And at the same time, uh, we take uh, crime prevention seriously. And this is one of the ways that we do it. So uh, we will have more dates in the future. Uh, this was a successful, successful day. We've had over, over 60 people so far come through. And uh, we just want to make sure that uh, everybody is thinking about how to prevent uh, thefts of their uh, catalytic converters. And unfortunately, if it does happen, um, be able to identify that and uh, be able to successfully prosecute anyone that might be stealing those uh, converters. So, uh, hello from beautiful Gardena. Uh, it's another great community event. Uh, I believe that's what separates Gardena from the rest of the world. And uh, again, it's another great day to be in Gardena. Have a great day. I'm here with Councilman Cascanian. And Councilman, this is a great event that's being put on by the uh, a police department. Yes, sir. And uh, tell me uh, what you know about this. So this event was put by the Gardena Police Department. You have to be pre-registered to get in line. I was actually pleasantly surprised. I thought there'd be a long line of cars, but 
you guys have it really well mapped out here. There's yes. only like three cars, so. Yes, well, uh, we gave them, uh, is every specific person, uh, a time limit. So, uh, you know, you have an appointment between, let's say, 11 o'clock to 11.30, so once so that you should, they show up, and uh, we'll just, you know, go, the flow was going okay. We had one station to X, as you see behind us, you can hear the noise. Uh, and uh, we added another station, we can do it a little faster, so we can get more cars in. Yeah. So, okay, thanks for uh, filling us in what you know. No problem, no problem. So, we'll see you guys uh, maybe next few months, we'll do another one, and uh, we'll let the community know about it, and we'll put it on the Facebook and the social media, and uh, you guys will find out about it pretty soon. Sounds cool, thank right, you, sir. No problem, thank you.